Because basically, if you want to be a high-level politician in this country, you've got to go kiss APAC's ass. That's the bottom line. Tell me a fucking president who hasn't kissed APAC's ass. Pretty much all the Congress and Senate all kiss APAC's ass. But apparently Bernie can get away with it. And I cannot discount the fact that he is Jewish. So, Kennedy would have neutralized these two incredibly nefarious, destructive interests. Nuclear weapons for Israel impact today. But more important than that, he also issued Executive Order 11110. And this executive order, which any president has the authority to do, could basically institute constitutional policy. And we could be issuing our own dollars without interest. So part of my optimism is, well, I love actually the financial crisis. I think that's fucking brilliant. It's amazing how much more aware people get when they're uncomfortable. I find that comfort and stupidity seem to be pretty much on par. The more uncomfortable you get, the more intelligent you get. Try calling the uh, Syrian people into believing that America wishes to fight terrorism and help protect the rights of the Syrian people. Good luck making that argument. You can get a bunch of dumbasses sitting back here drinking Budweiser watching a football game on their fucking Lazy Boy to believe that shit. A little bit too comfortable if you ask me. But you ain't going to convince the people in Syria or the Middle East or most of the world, quite frankly, that that's really what's going on. So discomfort to me is great. I had somebody say at an event in Berkeley, you know, you're making me feel really uh, not uncomfortable with something like that. I'm really uh, distressed. Good. Good. Did you come here to feel good? You want to fucking be preached to like we all agree? And it's like, what the fuck is that about? It's like a group masturbation of some shit. Why the fuck do we want, why does anybody get satisfied with preaching to the choir? I'm sure a lot of you agree with many of the things I'm saying, but many of you are very much disagreeing with some of the things I'm saying. By the way, who in here works for the intelligence services and has been sent here to pretend to be a supporter? Yes? Excellent. I'm going to <laughs> That's good, that's the first time that's happened. Somehow, I know you're a fucking really clever one if you are. Reverse <laughs> psychology and all this, that's good. You're probably not the one. What are you? Several of you are. And guess what? Go fuck yourself, fuck off, fuck you. Look at what you do. And anyone who thinks that there are people like that in this room right now, and I'm not pointing fingers because I can't possibly know, but they are in this room right now. You fucking wankers. Whoever you are, fucking wankers. Go tell your fucking bosses to fuck themselves again. What a job you have to lie and pretend to 